Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to set up the Android Kitchen for creating your own custom ROMs. So if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, the unlock, the letter R, then .com, and search for how to create your own custom ROM for Android Part 1 video. So basically, uh, this developer over at XDA, DSI XDA, um, created a little program for you to create your own custom ROMs uh, without needing any programming experience. So we're going to show you how to set that up. It's a little bit of a process, but it's not too hard. Just follow the procedure written uh, and use this video as a visual aid. Just so you know, before you begin, this only works on HTC Android devices at the moment, at least. Uh, he says that maybe later versions he'll add support for Acer and Motorola, etc. So right now, though, the only phones this works for are the HTC Android devices. Okay, so the first step is going to be to download VirtualBox, which is a free program. So you can click the link there to show you the VirtualBox download section. You're going to download this very first one here. Um, so click that and let it download. Okay, so once you've downloaded VirtualBox, uh, you're just going to double click and install it, let it go through its normal thing uh, like any other program. Once it's done, you can open it and you'll be greeted with this here. Click New, Next. We're going to name the virtual machine, so we'll just call it Linux for simplicity's sake. Linux for operating system, and then version we're going to select Ubuntu. Next, uh, we're going to leave it at 384 megabytes. Next, now we're going to create a, a boot hard disk. We're going to click Create New Hard Disk and hit Next. Hit Next again. Dynamically expanding is fine. Hit Next. Um, we're going to select 8 gigs if it's not already selected here on the slider and hit Next. Hit finish, hit finish again, and it'll create it. So now we can go to the next step of installing Ubuntu on this. Okay, next thing you need to do is you're gonna download Ubuntu here by clicking on this link. And then just click the begin download uh, after you select your location. And once this downloads, it'll download it as a .iso file, and we can go to the next step. Okay, so once we've downloaded the Ubuntu.iso, we can go back to our virtual box and click, select this and click start. And then if yours didn't automatically pop up, just go to CD, DVD, more CD, DVD images, add, and you're gonna find the .iso Ubuntu file that we downloaded earlier. Mine is right there. Click open. Mine's giving me a warning because I already have it. Uh, you're going to select it here and click select. Okay, so you'll be greeted with this screen eventually. If it doesn't come up right away, just close it, click OK, and then restart it. And it'll pop up just like this. Now you're going to follow this uh, setup procedure to, uh, you're going to click install Ubuntu. And just follow the procedure to install. Okay, so after Ubuntu installs itself and then reboots, um, and you follow the prompt and everything, uh, you're going to click on Applications, Accessories, and then you're going to go to Terminal, and you're going to type in uh, what's written on the site, which is sudo git. And hit enter it's gonna ask you for your password now your password is what you set up when you were installing uh, Ubuntu itself so I'll put mine in and then it's gonna ask you do you want to continue you're gonna hit yes and hit enter well why and hit enter and then you're gonna let it install okay another quick tip while this is installing um, when you're using this if you haven't figured out already uh, you can't use your mouse or keyboard in any other application while you're running the virtual system so to undo that, so you can use it, you just push this control button on the right side of your keyboard. Once you push that, you can now pull your mouse out and use your regular computer. Okay, it's going to give you a little uh, terms and conditions. Just hit uh, right arrow on your keyboard and hit enter on OK. Then hit left arrow and hit enter to hit yes. And let it continue. Okay, now that it's done installing, you'll just have a prompt. Uh, you can now close this. Uh, we can close the update manager. 
And now we actually have to download the actual Android ROM Kitchen now that we've done all that. Um, for those users that are using Ubuntu or have access to an Ubuntu computer, you didn't need to do any of the steps that we just did. You can start right from where we are right now um, and just install the Android ROM Kitchen. The majority of people have Windows though, so that's why we did this little virtual machine thing to run um, Ubuntu. So click on uh, the Firefox logo. Let's open up Firefox. And then you're gonna type the page that you're reading right now into here so that we can view it on our virtual machine. And that'll bring you to our page. Now we can scroll down to step four, which is what we're on. And step three in section four, we're gonna click on this kitchen. And this will bring you to DSI XDA's page. Now in the first post, download the latest version of the Android Kitchen. I prefer Mega Upload. Close the advertisement. Put in, click download file. Close more advertisements and then wait the seconds to download. Okay, once the timer runs down, we can click uh, download. Then we're gonna click save file and let that file download. Okay, so once it downloads, we can right click, click open containing folder. We're going to right click it, open with archive manager, then extract. Then we're gonna select the top folder here. Uh, mine has the name that I set up. Yours will be called whatever you named yourself uh, when you were setting up. And then we're going to just click extract. And once it's done, we can close. 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 Yep, close all tabs. And close. Now, to start the Android ROM kitchen, we go to accessories, we go to terminal, and we type in dot slash menu and hit enter. And now you'll be greeted with the very simple uh, kitchen options. Okay? And uh, stay tuned for our part two on how to build your first ROM. Enjoy.